Uh, Jason back just continuing with our ball and tail file as I show you guys how to incorporate audio again all right super quick so to bring in our files we can either double click in our project panel or we can just go file import file uh, I'm gonna navigate to where the those footage that footage is uh, it should be here there we go bouncing ball um, and then I also had a swish sound and I appear to have lost that. There we go, swish audio. Dope. Okay, so I'll open both of those and I'll bring them in. Uh, and then just to keep my project neat, I'm just going to drag and drop them onto this folder icon and I can call this audio. And uh, there we go, they're inside that folder. Okay, so bouncing ball noise, let's drag that in. Remember, it's got a, a video, so we just need to turn the eye off for that. Uh, back to the beginning, I'm going to hit L twice, LL. Okay, it brings up my waveform over here. Um, and here we can see the actual audio. All right, so if I play this back, right, we hear like the, the sound of that there. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I just want to cut and isolate this piece. Now, this is a lot easier to do inside of... Uh, Premiere Pro, but I don't want you guys jumping back and forth between too many programs just yet. So let's focus on After Effects for now. Okay, so in order to split this, uh, you'll see that when I hover over the beginning of my layer, it's the same when I hover over the end, I get a little uh, double black arrow head. Right? And that means that I can drag and shorten or lengthen that layer as I see fit. All right, so I'm just going to shorten that to cut out that dead air. Uh, and then I am going to, I just want to sort of isolate this section over here. So if I hit Command or Control Shift D, that will split duplicate my layer. All right, uh, I'm pretty sure there's a way to do it if I right click on it, but I've literally never learned the long way around doing that particular trick. It is always uh, the shortcut for me. So um, if you figure it out, by all means, leave a comment, but otherwise Control or Command Shift D. All right, so if hit LL again, there's all my information. All right, you'll see that it split my layer into two and it automatically collapses that layer as necessary. Okay, so I can delete that excess layer and only need this one. And now I can time up and see where my ball hits the ground. Hits the ground over here. Derp, so I'll drag that out and time it there. Cool. Uh, then my ball hits the ground again over here. So I'm just going to hit Control D to duplicate that layer. Uh, LL to bring up that waveform and we'll sit that over there. Um, and we know that it's going to be softer now, right? <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> so if I just click my drop down, you'll see I've got audio levels here as well. And I can then just type in, for example, like minus six. So that's going to make that a little bit softer. Uh, I can duplicate this layer again because I know that my ball hits the ground one last time over here. LL to bring up my waveform. I can collapse that layer and open it again, bring up my audio levels, and we can set that to like minus 12. And let's play back and see what we've got. Cool. All right, uh, fairly generic, but you know what? It counts for something that it's there, so that's fine. Collapse these layers and lock them. I don't want to accidentally mess them up. And now I'm just going to add a bit of a swishing noise for my tail, just to create a little bit more of a soundscape. All right, so again, turn the eye off. LL so we can see what we're looking at. Now if I remember the first swish really isn't that great. Nope. Second swish, a little bit better. Uh, third swish maybe. No. Fourth swish. No. Okay, so I'll just stick with this one then. All right, so I can either drag that head down and cut it there, or I can hit Control Shift D to cut it. I can delete that excess information. LL to see my waveform again see where it ends, control shift D, delete that excess information. All right, so the swish would definitely take place here as our um, tail starts to move. Okay, so maybe like a little bit later, uh, and then I can bring that audio down, it's a little loud, minus 12 maybe, cool. And then as my ball hits, whenever my tail sort of swishes, I can then just duplicate that and I'll sort of just drop it in uh, wherever. Swish, swish, uh, swish. I'm kind of just lining it up with the actual keyframes that we were using for that swishing sound. 
Swish again. Okay. Got a nice like ladder step going over there. And then one last swish when it comes to an end. All right, and obviously all of these need to have their audio trimmed because they need to get softer and softer as we go. So I'll select them, drop them down, audio. Uh, let's just get all of these audios unwound. Okay, starting at the bottom, this one's gonna be sort of the loudest of all. So maybe we can leave that at minus 12 or we can take it to like minus 15. The next one we can take to minus 18 and I'm kind of just making up these numbers as I go. I don't want the increments to be too large. Uh, we don't want this getting too soft where we can't actually hear it, but having the audio drop will really help with that. Creating the soundscape. Okay, so definitely need to focus on my timing. Um, let's see here. Swish, maybe we only need one swish. Maybe I'm just being greedy with the number of swish that we've got going on. Yeah. Um, so maybe I'll keep a, uh, um, a swish for every time the tail goes down. Maybe maybe that's what I need. It's just to space out those swishes a little bit. Um, and we'll start it where the tail actually starts swishing down. And it starts going down over there as well. And then I think we don't need that one. So let's see. Okay. Um, not the most exciting soundscape, but it is something to start with for sure. All right, um, so that's it for adding audio. Uh, the last thing I would do is perhaps just add a background so our ball's not bouncing in the void. So layer, new, solid. Let's work around the colors that we've already got. So we'll start off with that orange. We can make it a lot darker, sort of leaning towards a brownish color. Say okay. Uh, we'll drop that right at the bottom. Um, and we can duplicate that, Command Shift D, and then, um, or Control, Control D, sorry, we're not split duplicating it, we're actually just duplicating it. Um, and then Command uh, Shift Y or Control Shift Y to bring up our solid options again. And we can make that like really dark. Okay, and we'll just drag that down so that that acts as the floor. All right, and there we have it. All right, nice simple working with audio. Uh, so please make sure to add that into your, um, into your work. And uh, yeah, good luck with it. I'll see you guys in the next term. All right, stay well. Bye.